Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot, this is Andrea and I'm going to do an impromptu spirit message reading, it's meant for whoever it's meant for, um, it's going to be timeless as well, so just making that clear, you see it when you're meant to see it, whenever you're meant to see it. Uh, the message that came through really strongly when I started selecting the cards was, don't be less than who you are. Whatever that means to you, there is a definite message that I had which was don't be less than who you are. Somebody needs to hear that. So let's pull some cards and see what we have. What do we have please? Angels, spirits, guides. Self-love. Yeah. <laughs> How funny. Uh, Self-love. Now is the time to love, nurture and heal yourself. Self-love is not simply a state of mind about feeling good. It's a state of appreciation for yourself that grows and matures from actions you take to support your body, mind and soul. It's a time of self-love. We don't focus on this enough. We're almost, we're always too much focused on the external environment that we forget to look within sometimes. We get to turn our energy back on ourselves and that is really important now. Okay. In fact, I'm going to put that there. Okay, what do we have, please? Thank you. Okay, build on solid ground. This is about trust things that are going to give you stability and security and value focus on those things that are going to bring that into your life don't focus or bet on things that are transient things that are going to give way you know this is a time for stability um security assuredness Okay, what do we have? What is the message? Thank you. Okay, I've got compassion, Archangel Zadkiel. Soften your heart with respect to this situation and all the people involved, including yourself. For some of you, it can be your own compassion for you as well, you know, take care of you. Um, outdoors, Archangel Jophiel. Go outside, get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. There's a regenerative energy that nature gives. This can also be a good clarifier as well. Uh, you, we get perspective when we get connect to nature. So there's definitely an energy of getting perspective, regenerate, you know. Okay. See what message we get. There's one. Assert yourself. Go for what you want. The time is ripe for the for soulmate connections. Birth of a child also likely. It's a time for asserting yourself. No, maybe, maybe the birth of something new here. Go for what you want. The time is ripe. I'm going to pull one more. Sunshine. The sun is shining on you. Career and business growth. Fabulous communication in relationships. Okay. So I'm just trying to find space to put that down. <laughs> okay. What do we have? What is the message people need to hear? First card is the advice from spirit. Remember, these are just messages. Not focusing on predictions, though we sometimes get them. These are messages. Okay, and generally messages to support our energy and direction. Okay, 
Eight of Wands is the message. Two of Cups. The World. Bottom of the deck we have the Six of Pentacles. So there is an energy here of the Eight of Wands. This is the advice from Spirit. Um, it's coming in quickly. This Two of Cups, I feel, is coming in quickly to you. And you're being told to build on solid ground. The first thing is self-love. And we have self-love so that we can allow other people to show us love, to show us, to value us. It's that energy in whatever aspect. Uh, communication with this can sometimes involve travel, as can the world card, there could be some travel involved here. Um, even holidays, somebody might be asking you for a holiday in the near future, but there's a definite energy of somebody out the blue is coming into your world. There is communication, there is some kind of positive shift. Could be to do with some kind of online dating for some of you. Um, others, it can be uh, some kind of distance relationship. But there's a definite energy if it's a powerful soul connection. There is a, a significant bond between the two of you. Now, yes, this can be in terms of business. Uh, the Two of Cups, if it's not to do with love, it can be in terms of offers, opportunities, invitations, bonding with a like-minded soul, could be in terms of business, like I said. Um, so maybe some offer or an invitation coming out of the blue. Also in terms of offer invitation, I feel this is to do with love areas. Uh, this is powerful attraction, soul connection, kindred spirit energy. You don't have to say anything and you know each other. It's that kind of energy. Could have been some, like I said, distance or this could have been over the internet, for example, some maybe some dating, you might be meeting somebody. Uh, but there's a definite energy of it's a powerful connection that you are. Yeah, you are meeting here, comes out of the blue. And I just feel what they are prompting is a new life cycle. This is the end of one life cycle and the beginning of another. There is a definite energy here of stepping through to a new phase of your life with that world energy. The world energy is completion and a new cycle begins. And I just feel that something is about to begin with somebody new. It's a two, it's at the very early stages. Six of Pentacles is, this is the solid, this, it feels to do with, this is uh, a solid energy. Now this could be somebody reaching out, making you an offer, somebody offering you something, uh, very good in terms of money, career, business. There is also um, an energy with the Six of Pentacles, it's your time to receive. And that's what I feel the universe is saying to you. Um, one of your, it feels like one of your, your life cycle is about to complete and you are about to step through to a new phase of your life. There is sudden change coming your way and I feel in this instance, this is your time to receive. It feels it's your time to receive anyway, it's beautiful energy. Just sudden change, out of the blue, there's communication, there could be opportunity. Um, something exciting that promises real growth and potential. Whatever is coming your way, it holds real potential with the Eight of Wands. You can see all those wands are sprouting. They're just ready to be planted and they're flying through the air because they're divinely guided. I'm feeling in this situation, what this is bringing is the end of one phase and the beginning of another. Now in terms of business, if it's something to do with an offer or an invitation in terms of business, this can also be a card of success, celebration. 
I just feel in this energy, it feels very, very beautiful indeed. You're being told to assert yourself, sunshine is here, the sun is shining on you. This is something what, that you can build on, either in terms of a relationship or in terms of business. So I'm going to pull a final message, very nice message we've got there. Final message, please. We have focus on the positives. You know there are many, and that's number 29, which is 11, master number 11. We have take control of the situation. We know you can do this. Number three, that's the be assertive energy. Listen to your inner voice as we try to guide you. Use your intuition. Number 21, that's another three as well. I've got pretty significant numbers here. Three and three, 33. And I've also got number 29, which makes 11. So 11 and the three energy is pretty divine energy. Um, it's a lovely reading. So obviously it's meant for somebody. Um, but there is such a lovely energy of it's about focusing on you now, self-love, what you want and what is going to bring you stability and value in your life and not focusing on other things or being distracted in the energy that is going to take you away from that focus. Lovely reading. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate that and I will see you next time. Thank you.